guys welcome back to my channel mi tutorials in this tutorial i'm going to teach you when you should use the switch statement and how to use this particular switch statement right so let's get started with this particular tutorial now in my data set over here i have some uh, codes over here which is of order priority which say c h l and m right now let's say if you want to uh, get the abbreviation of these particular uh, codes what they actually mean right a lot of you would know that this is possible uh, using the if formula uh, like we used to mention it as if order priority is equal to h then high if it is l then low etc right now there is a simpler statement here which you can write using the switch statement within the dax so i'm going to teach you that so let's click on this and click on new column and let's call this as order priority definition okay is equals to uh, let's start with switch okay and then it's asking us to enter the expression in this case it's going to be our, our order priority comma so and then it's asking us value okay so here we're going to say if it is c I am not really sure what, what exactly C means, but in this particular case here, I'm going to just say completed, okay? And then uh, if it is H, then it is high. If it is L, then it is low. If it is M, then it is medium, right? You close the quotes and then you close the bracket. Now, if you take a look at this particular DAX here, it is extremely simple and a very short DAX here. In, in case if you had to use the if formula, it's going to be, it was going to be a very lengthy one with a lot of nested ifs combined. But in this particular case, it's extremely easy and it is just one line formula here for all these four priority codes. Now, let us press enter and see what happens and then bring in this order priority in the, into this particular table. You can see here we've got completed high, low, medium, etc. Now this is how you use switch statement to avoid writing longer formulas or longer DAX in your Power BI. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.